Hey folks, Coach back at you. Well, we've had a number of requests to do some more glide technique, and I can't find a better example than David Stroll of Germany, one of the top gliders in the world, but a little bit of a dying breed. And what I mean by that, it seems like the rotational shot put has kind of taken over as far as the preferred technique, but I would advocate that the glide technique is, a, um, I wouldn't say simpler, but it's a little bit easier to teach uh, young throwers especially. And um, it's a much more stable position um, and it, uh, it has produced some really great results. So um, let's have a look at Dave and what he brings to this event. Now Dave is six foot six, about 263 pounds or so. He's going to be 29 in 2019, so he's hopefully he's got a couple of years left in him, right? Maybe another Olympic Games. That would be awesome. So let's have a look here. Shoulders here. His left arm in a very low position. You can see he's he's low, and I'll and I'll bring come back to this a little bit later in the video. There's a a, a better clip um, from a side angle, so uh, stay tuned to that piece. His left elbow appears to be down, but trust me, when he makes the release, it'll be high. What does he want to do? He's going to push with the right leg and have opposite forces. So he's going to be pushing off the right leg and driving the uh, left leg to the front of the circle. So those are very, very important points to follow. So let's let's keep going with this one. I'm going to stop it right there. And this here is a great uh, angle on a power position, some great things that he brings to the event. One of the critical parts of any throwing event, particularly the shot put, you guys, is, and I've said this a number of times, and if you haven't, have a look at some of the other videos, is to stay on the ball of your foot. I see so many young people drop this heel down and the throw is over, really, and then they're throwing with their upper body. So what are, what are you trying to accomplish by staying on the ball of your foot? Well, it allows the foot to rotate much, much more easily. So if you rotate on the toe, this will initiate the right knee and the hip for that right-handed thrower. Right? You want to uh, rotate the lower body first, and hopefully Dave will resist the temptation to turn his upper body too prematurely. He wants to swing that whole right side through first before uh, he strikes through with the shot put. So as you can see here, we'll move it ahead a little bit more, and you can see here a little bit slow on that right hip. Um, be nice to bring that around, but here's a really good shot of, of Dave doing what he does really good. He's got uh, a good stable position or at least a touch on the board he's slightly off the ground if I was his coach man he'd be staying on the ground for as long as he can and lift that shot put Dave if he can make contact with the board and then lift the shot he's gonna get a bigger result trust me um, you can see though everything is pointing in the direction of the throwing sector his knee is pointing his hips pointing so all great things happening here and he's a six foot six right so he's gonna have a high release so he gains that event one of the great things that he does though, he does have a great left side block. In other words, he shuts the door on the left side so this whole left side is nice and stiff so that he can push the right, the shot put through. So this is really critical for a glider, For there's no doubt about it. It's a very, very important technique. So you can see now he's trying to hold himself back and this is a really, um, this is called a recovery phasing shot. In other words, he's just trying to prevent himself from going over the stop board and for those people you cannot go over, touch on top of the board or any part of the circle outside the um, the circle itself to for it to be a good throw. So Dave's doing his ever so his best to stay in, in this um, position. The great thing about doing the glide technique is it's pretty linear. In other words, it's a pretty straight throw and therefore to maintain balance is a little bit easier other than a rotational technique for sure. Um, now rotation you can kind of continue to spin at the end but for the for the glider it's a little bit easier to maintain a balance on the throw if you have an, a, an effective block on your left side and transfer to the right side. So there he goes. So let's have a look at this throw. It's 21 meters 33 centimeters here in uh, the spring of 2018 here in a meet in Zurich at the Diamond League and he's quite happy with that. Now remember earlier I was talking to you about um, a throw, this particular throw, from a slightly different angle. And uh, let's have a look at uh, Dave's uh, throw from uh, a slightly different perspective. The exact same throw, but from a different angle. Let's have a look at this coming right up here shortly. And what we're gonna do is, is kinda stop it for you and and show you, um, and I, for coaches, it's a really good angle. The first angle, not so much. This angle is awesome so if you're gonna send video send it this way you guys full body right here so let's have a look one of the key issues is in a beginning video 
you know, I've always advocated, you know, start this way. Um, in an upcoming video this spring, you guys, stay tuned because we're going to have a level two shot put um, from myself showing you the more, a slightly more advanced version from the introductory video and shot put. So stay tuned to that one. But you can see what he does. Look at this. Nice back to the sky. Um, and what he's doing, he's got a nice low position. The shot puts in this area. And now what he's going to do is take this lay. He's going to pendulum in a bit. And then he's going to strike to the front half of the circle. And at the same time, pushing off with the right foot. Okay, so let's have a look at that as he kind of moves along here. And we'll just kind of move it up here a little bit. And you can see he's staying low and he strikes to the front of the circle. This is a really good shot, you guys. Check this out. Look at the leg separation. I see so many young people with hanging legs here. Guys, get them the young female male thrower to drive that left leg to the... So that leg separation will really cause, uh, give you a greater momentum um, to the front of the circle. Again, some people uh, will push off their toes and others will push off their heels. I find them equally as effective depending on what's most comfortable for you, but most would advocate the heel, but I'm a toe guy, to be honest with you. So let's get rid of that. As we move it up here a little bit, a couple of frames, we'll move them right up to the power position, but look what he's trying to do, you guys. Get that foot somewhere in here and stay on the ball of your foot. Keep closed off. Keep that nice and straight. Okay, so that there's a, a really good tip there for you. So watch him as he comes to the middle. He's going to resist the temptation to turn. That a boy, Dave. Look at this. He's got um, right here in the nice on the toe position. Now he's going to turn it, turn it, turn it. Bring that left arm around here. Block it. Get contact first, and then let her ride. Let's see him go. Let's let's uh, just run it here a little bit. Boom! I love that. Look at this nice straight body profile, you guys. Look at this, right? It's awesome. Um, his strike angle. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Nice high release. He's got great contact down here. Look at this on his toe. Great contact on his toe. Look at this. And now that shot's coming out quick. So where the shot puts was down here at some point, now is up here in a nice, nice throwing um, uh, vector. There's no doubt about that. Excellent throw by, by Dave. So as he strikes it through, the recovery phase, obviously, um, he's done a really good job in that one. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, he's an amazing thrower. So I hope this uh, video was uh, of some help to you. If you do have any comments or questions about the glide technique in the shot put, you can use the comment section below. And uh, if you want to follow, just a reminder, there are some upcoming videos, um, some uh, more uh, slightly more advanced um, throwing videos for the um, kind of the beginner intermediate thrower coming this spring. So stay tuned to the channel. And uh, if you subscribe, of course, you'll be alerted to any new video that comes out. So a nice low approach, strike, recovery, and clearly the best um, glider in the world today. And we hope that Dave's got a few more years in him. And maybe he can do that Olympic Games in 2020. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? And there he goes. Nice recovery, Dave. And uh, David Stroll from Germany, one of the best throwers ever in the glide technique. Hope you enjoyed it. Throw far, you guys, and stay tuned.